Now, don't let this clip fool you. Boneworks is actually not the best game ever released. Hard to believe. I know. Before I get into the video, I have something to tell you guys. This video was sponsored by Ray Shadow Legends. <laughs> yeah, alright, sure. Before I jump, jump into, into it, it, I'll address something. This game is getting a lot of praise for its physics-based gameplay, but to be completely honest, I don't get why. You see, while yes, the game is impressive, Nimsoni made a better tech demo. I'd highly suggest that you go over to Nimsoni's channel and if you have an Oculus Rift or a Vive or whatever, go and play his tech demos. I think his tech demos are way better and way more convincing than Boneworks' weight system. Anyhow, Knochen Funktioniert is a physics-based shooter that makes my laptop scream, MAKE IT STOP! Uh, STOP RIGHT THERE! Alright, for real, there's a much better game out there that's called Budget Cuts 2. I'd highly suggest you play that over Boneworks, but you know, it's just my opinion. The game is pretty good, and there is a reason why I've played it for literally more than a day. It has quickly become one of my favorite VR games, but oh boy, it has its flaws. Sometimes I play with 27 frames per second, and if you played VR, or any video game for that matter, you know that 27 is smaller than 28, which still isn't the recommended 90, but hey, it's close, right? To be fair, after a few updates, when the game now being released for a couple of weeks, the entire performance situation has actually kind of gotten better. I feel like that I'm playing with 90 FPS now, but I don't know. I still will. Ga I will still gather the entire footage again because just like I recorded very poorly. Say okay, you know what? Future, future me. Does the game run like absolute fucking dog shit? Alright, cool, thanks. Let's move on. I bought the game on release, and I know that the games will get patched over time. I mean, I think it will, since it is no Fallout 76 where Bethesda just said, hey, let's go back to Fallout 4 again. One thing I find particularly funny is on release, they forgot about the Windows Mixed Reality support. So Windows Mixed Reality users couldn't even play the game on release. Great! To be fair, they patched the support in a day later, but come on guys, why, even even if Windows Mixed Reality has a small fan base or a small user base, you should still consider that there are people out there that use it. You have a full ragdoll body now, actually this is more of a con than a pro. You see, yes it's cool that you have a full rigged body, but it gets stuck in a lot of objects, since it is physics after all. There are a lot of guns in the game, but why are there no grenades? You have all of these melee weapons, but no grenade? Yeah, I might be wrong with this, but I've never seen any grenades, not in the demo footage or in the actual game. Around the world, you can interact with multiple hostile NPCs. Those are but not limited to null bodies, crablets or headsets, zombish. What? The cleanup crew, or aka the Omni Rollers. And I don't know the other enemies' names, but that doesn't matter because apparently the wiki doesn't even have these. Have you ever played Half Life, or have you ever played Gmod? Because if you played these games, you remember the headcrabs. Yeah? Yeah, you remember the headcrabs. The crablets are basically that, but with one cool addition added. That is, if they jump onto your head, your vision will change and you will now stand in a room with the logo of the game. Sadly, these are way too easy to beat and take roughly 5 shots before they die. Or you could alternatively just, you know, take them off, use them as weapons, take them out on a date with spicy ravioli, I don't know man, whatever floats your boat, I won't judge. The climbing feature is probably, next to the story, the worst thing. 
in this game. It feels like that they coated this shit on a wet tampon, man. As soon as you grab something, your character hugs that object and it makes it impossible to climb everywhere. Now I combine this when falling down somewhere and then uh, suddenly you stop because your fucking arm is in the wall. How does this happen? I had to kill myself by shooting myself in the head to replay that. Or I could just like go to the menu and replay it, but you know how long Boneworks loading screens are? These things take up to like 4 minutes. 4 minutes! I mean, yeah, I'm on a hard drive, but it's not very fast on an SSD either. Don't get me wrong, I have pretty strong VR legs, but this makes me feel like shit. Now combine this with a frame rate of 45 max, and you have the perfect pina colada of dizziness and pre-programmed puking. Fucking knew it! <laughs> All this again! Oh my fucking god! Okay. Almost. Up. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, I'm at the bottom again. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, for fifth time going up this. Because, uh, I don't know, it decided not to fucking grab it. Oh, fun. Let's give a climbing thing. Go away. So, you wanna take a break mid-gameplay? Well, you better not quit the game, my man. Unless you wanna replay the entire stage, that is. There is no save state feature, and having to replay the entire level over and over again is mildly infuriating. The levels feel really weird, and it looks like if you went into the Unreal Engine and made a cube without adding custom textures. It feels rushed and unfinished, but I get the appeal. After all, you are in a simulation, or in other words, you're playing VR in VR. I even found a part of the map that is completely broken and unfinished. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to climb up here, but I did it anyway since the game just lets you do it. This isn't hidden very well. This is just open. Before going to the sewers, turn around and you will see this huge open hole. My first guess was, oh, they probably hit a special weapon in there, which didn't really make any sense because that was the end of the level, but I checked it out anyways. To my surprise, I found that and yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to see that, but whatever. I, I don't know, it feels like that they just forgot about that. So um, stress level zero, if you ever see this, which you probably won't. Um, Fix that, because I don't think you can say that that is part of the simulation. That is literally bad map design, but whatever, man. Don't get me wrong, some of the levels look amazing. Like, there are some really detailed parts of the maps, but as soon as you turn a corner, it looks like a fucking Unity acid flip. Some of the puzzles suck, and I swear to god, this warehouse puzzle made me lose my shit. You see, there's probably different ways to do this, but the first thing I tried was to just jump onto the thing. Because I was curious, right? Jumping onto this huge platform. But then, it was like a fucking elevator malfunctioning. It went to the floor, and I couldn't get it back up. So I had to reload the level, play the entire level again, got to this part, and then I had to do the tedious fucking thing of pushing every object that was in this room to this stupid little magma beam out of fucking Minecraft to get this thing to float. Seriously guys, what is this shit? There are so many ammo crates in these levels. I guarantee you, as soon as you turn a corner in a building, you will see one or more ammo crates lurking in the background, watching, judging, and probably thinking of the best plan to get you killed. I never ran out of ammo in my entire time while playing. And you might say, oh, well you need to have this to buy shit. No. No you don't! All the weapons are spread around the map, so there's no point in to buying them. If you just started the game, you might think, well, you need to be careful with your shots. But no! Break one ammo crate and you get like 200 plus pistol mags! Now, in my opinion, that is a mixed bag. Since I like that you have more than enough ammo to fuck around with, but it also makes the gameplay experience less special. Since I didn't need to seek out ammo. Since I had more than enough. Wait, what the fuck was that? What was that noise? Uh, I'm gonna check that out real quick. So, um, 
I'll 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 be right I'll be right right back. It's dark in here. Why is it so moist? Oh, holy shit. I, I, I'm out. I finally escaped this dungeon. I'm, I'm a free man. I can do what I... Oh, what's this? Oh, a, a bone works for you. Yeah, I, I guess I have some time to add to this before I escape. A prime example for this is the sewer level. Some spoiler warning here though, so if you haven't played the game or plan on getting this game in the future, then skip to this timestamp. You've been... Skip, skip it. I swear, I swear to God. You've been warned. Three, three, two... Oh, okay. You start off the level in this really dark room. The only exit you see is blocked by a mountain of boxes. Everything is dark. You lurch forward carefully and find a flashlight on the floor. This will come in handy. Ever so cautiously, you tread the dark and damp tunnels of the underground. You have to strategically avoid the enemies to your best ability since you only have a hefty sledgehammer on you. Man, this is really scary, you think to yourself. And the game just gave you a fully automatic SMG. It, it wasn't even hidden or anything. It was quite literally in the spotlight. Seriously, guys, what were you thinking? I, I love this game. I really do. I think it's really, really, really cool. But come on, this was such a wasted opportunity. Just to add insult to injury, the MP5 has a fucking flashlight attachment so you don't even have to trade accuracy for sight anymore since you can just hold the gun with both hands for the most accuracy while still having perfect sight. Now an enemy dropping two feet in front of you isn't a scary thing anymore. Now it's more like, oh well, blimey, that was quite the startle, wasn't it? Good thing I have this fully loaded SMG that I found in the middle of this sewer with me. The level was the perfect mixture between eerie and terrifying, but it's really hard to feel scared when you have a fully automatic weapon of mass destruction strapped to your back. This also leads back to the too much ammo problem. If the game didn't fart ammo at me every fucking second, then giving me this weapon would be completely okay, since I only have a limited amount of bullets, and I have to make every shot count. Then I look down to see that I have the entire US military worth of ammo in my back pocket, then any attempt to save ammo was completely pointless since it's more common than depression in the school system. Uh, hol holy shit, I think he's coming back. I, I better get the fuck out of here. Hey, get the fuck back here. I'm sorry, master, please don't whip me again. Oh god. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh yeah, all of this isn't game breaking per se. I'm just super picky when it comes to these things. But, you know what is? That sometimes I had to replay the entire level because a puzzle was broken. Now, combine this with me having to play with around 30 to 45 frames and boom, my man, you have the perfect G Fuel Soup of game breaking physics. Yeah, no shit! The physics break if your frame rate is below 45 FPS. And that leads to some funny but also frustrating aiming. Your guns just break and shoot all over the place. Okay, so I'm in the editing process right now, and I just noticed at this part, the exact fucking part that I wanted to make this clip on. I deleted the clip because I replayed the stage with a different option enabled which gave me more frames per second and then I thought well I don't need this anyway so I deleted it and so now it's gone so basically my point is invalid but if you want to imagine how it looked is basically if you take a just a plain model that is rigged and then you just put a lot of like recoil on it so basically like the whole thing starts to jitter and yeah I can't fucking show the clip anymore because I don't have it I I knew I fucking knew that I shouldn't have deleted this stupid fucking clip but whatever what happened happened granted this doesn't really last long since your gun guns will snap back and then it will just shoot normally but this is all just really weird to me that this shit could happen. Around the levels, you can see some writing on the walls such as what if all of this is just a tech demo, done with Monogon, or the famous Melon. Melon. And can I talk about this real quick? 
What is up with the melons? It is insane. Melons here, melons there, melons everywhere. Stress level zero. If you like melons so much, just put this on a t-shirt and sell it for quick cash. I don't think anyone will buy it, but you know, you could try. All of this is graffiti and you will see some weird symbols around the maps too. But you know what the best thing is with these symbols and writings on the walls? Some of that graffiti renders on one eye only, some disappear right in front of you, and most of the time they render in front of the wall instead of on the wall. I know this is a common problem in a lot of games, but guys, just fix this please, it's so annoying. I think it would have been great if they would add a bunch of cool secrets around the maps. Not just these stupid weapon crates that do nothing at all. I mean, yeah, the weapons in them are pretty cool, but there's no difference between sledgehammer, the axe, and the butcher's knife. So why would you ever seek out these giant crates if there's nothing special in them? One cool thing to these crates would be an achievement tracker. So if you find all of them, you get an achievement. But I guess you can't even code this thing right because your achievement tracker for killing 100 headsets just also doesn't work. That's fun. The story is... something? I'll explain it in excruciating detail. So try to follow along. I, I know it's hard, but it's worth it. Trust me. You're Arthur Ford. And you enter the virtual world Mythwest, which is made by Monogon and you're trying to get into the clock tower to reset that virtual world. This is some groundbreaking story. I know that Boneworks doesn't really focus on the story and more of the gameplay aspect, which is cool, but come on guys. <laughs> but hey, they have like Diva in it, so I guess it's a 12 out of 10. Here's the bottom line. The game's good, but not perfect. I'm not that big of a fan of it because half of Alex is a thing now and there's a ton of room for improvement. For example, fixing the climbing, adding a couple textures so it doesn't feel like a fucking lazy tech demo anymore, and fix the Oculus touch controls so you're able to move while in slow motion since apparently you can't do that guys. This is no easy feat, but definitely doable, especially the last one. The game is more a VR physics playground than a story driven VR game. And that's completely fine. I mean, we are getting a triple A VR game from Daddy himself, Gabe Newell. Back to bullshittery. Did I base my opinion on this game entirely on Daddy can break your arms by climbing? Absolutely. Bad game. Zero out of ten. This game is fucking trash. Now go play a real video game, like Fallout 76.